Matic turn. Okay, so over the past year, I've worked hard and diligently to try and give you the best knowledge I can regarding improving your play, making you better at World of Warcraft and, of course, other MMOs. But one thing keeps coming back. Clicking and keybinding. It keeps coming back. It's like a haunting ghost. It's always there. People are always asking questions. I'm a keybinder and I'm a clicker. And clicking is fast enough. I can do everything I want to do. I've kind of run out of ideas of how to convince clickers to switch to being keybinded or that certain variations of being half clicker, half keybinder are okay and certain things like that. So what I decided to do was just show the end result. A lot of other reasons for this video are people just wanting to see how I play. And of course my old videos where I had a lesser keyboard and smashed the keys incredibly hard, especially with that old microphone system, made it very loud and spammy. One of the reasons that being keybinded is good is the ability to spam keys. Uh, this is an internet game. We have latency. The game responds in different ways. In many cases, using abilities before they appear to be off cooldown actually increases the amount of abilities you can use in a fight. So in this video, I'm just going to show you me tanking a basic heroic, one of the end time heroics. But I'm also going to show you what my hands are doing. Now, some of you will just be interested to see what my hands look like while I'm playing, and that's fine. The other side of this is I want the people who are still clicking to see what the end result is like. I want you to notice how little my mouse actually moves, and it's purely for directional purposes. I'm just keeping things in place, and I don't want to be running around like a madman, especially while tanking. I want people to have a great time and keep mobs nice and stable. But I also want to show you what my left hand is doing, which is controlling most of my things. I have a total of 46 keybinds. 46 keybinds, and you'll notice I'm not using any sort of extraneous movement to get to those. A combination of modifiers like Shift, Control, and Alt, and then just modifying them all with my mouse as well. I do use a Naga, but you'll notice in the video that I don't use all the keybinds on the Naga. In fact, I use very few. Have I, because I have large hands, it's actually difficult for me to use all the variations of the buttons of the Naga. I could quite easily do the same thing with a normal gaming mouse. So take a look, enjoy it, and just notice these subtle differences. And notice how quick things like interrupts are, using every ability. Rally, rallying Cry will be used, Spell Reflect will be used, Mass Spell Reflect. All these things that other people who are half clicker, half keybinder might not have keybind. But look how quickly I activate them in situations that I need them. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> What's the point of all this? Obviously it's easy to look at this and just say, oh, his hands move pretty quickly, or they might move slowly in comparison to yours. But what's the difference, really? The point I'm trying to demonstrate here is that by being a keybinder, I'm able to cope with things in a much quicker way than a clicker could possibly do. When we click, our eyes instinctively have to look at the spell we're going to click. That's how hand-to-eye coordination works. We lose time. Things become more dangerous when we're slower to react to them. One of the great things about being able to be completely keybinded and relaxed while doing it is such things like interrupting and using cooldowns effectively are extremely quick. Uh, we cope with them in a much faster way. In fact, when I was tanking, a lot of my friends wouldn't bother interrupting because I tend to do it much quicker than they did. What we're talking about here is the half keybinded, half clicker guys who use cooldowns. It's okay, I use my major cooldowns, I click those. That's actually even worse. Uh, in a lot of respects. Let's talk about the cooldowns I might have as a tank. Shield Wall, Last Stand, Rally and Cry, Mass Spell Reflect, all these things. Now, the point at which I need to use those is actually much quicker than, say, when I press my Shield Slam or my Devastate or my Revenge. Threat is pretty easy. The same with DPSing. When you need to blow your big cooldowns, you need them on demand. You need them right now. When we click that, we actually lose time. We actually lose an aspect and we delay our ability and our potential. 
going back to the tank analogy, it's easy to say I need shield wall, I'll go and click it, and our mouse instinctively needs to move towards the key, and we have to see where it is. There a lot of times people can die in that gap. When I need a shield wall, I can press it in about half a second, if not less. I can just instinctively press it off. If it's a last stand, I need it in an emergency. If it's a nature swiftness heal, something along those lines, someone's in a dangerous situation, or guardian spirit, whatever it might be, I need that right now. I don't need it a second later because my tank could die. I need it now, or I could die as the tank. I need it on demand and quickly. So every spell should be key binded. The great thing about this is if you learn it now, is that you can transfer it into every other game that you ever play. No longer will you ever have the stigma of being a clicker and having this delay. It's all about the delay. More and more games are using things that aren't on global cooldowns. The netcodes are improving in lots of ways. We're starting to get games that are much, much quicker and much, much faster. In terms of learning this in World of Warcraft, we've got a great balance. Some things are on the global cooldown. More and more spells are coming off the global cooldown, which means we don't have a delay in pressing them. We can activate them whenever the hell we want. Interrupts, major cooldowns, always off the global cooldown. In which case, the faster you are, the better you prepared you are in order to deal with that situation. So I'll go back to this now, and I want you to just know how little I use my mouse. I've made the transition. For a clicker, your mouse is everything. You're now using that to activate all your spells, or even just some of your spells. Thereby, your, key your keyboard is now your movement ability. That's what you're using there. As a keybinder, you transition that completely. Your mouse is now your movement and your guiding, and you can do it without looking. With your hand that's using the keys, you're now controlling everything your character does. It's a complete role reversal. That's one of the difficult aspects of trying to swap over from being a clicker to a keybinder. But look at it again, take it in, and I hope you can see the results. It's nothing to be egotistical about. Impressive. Look at how fast I can press these abilities. It's more how I'm able to cope and react to things in games, not just World of Warcraft, and make it easier on yourself, alright?